I'm Tony. My pronoun is him and his. Um, some of the younger generation even call me uncle or auntie, so I'll take either or. My name is Al. My pronoun name is Aloysius. In the LBG community, I feel seen and heard. At this present moment now, yes. I feel they've been, they're being more seen, more heard um, than ever. Um, being someone of an older age, um, in the 80s and 90s, we weren't as heard as much, but we were still making progress. And I think that now at this day and age that we're being heard, we're being seen, and it's unfortunate that our political, um, we're being politicized to silence it back to where it was before. Um, I agree with him. I feel that now in modern times, everybody's being heard and seen, and um, everybody's being more acceptable, yes. Family means security. Um, you want to make sure that when you're, some, you're in a sp safe space where you can speak your issues, love on your issues, um, that someone can be there for you in a time of need, or just being organic in love. Family means to me love. It's as simple as that. Family means to me it's love. Um, I'm pretty HIV neutral. I just want to make sure that you're transparent that you do doing all the proper things to make yourself help, um, healthy and healthy in every means possible. Um, when it comes down to race, unfortunately, I prefer my own race because we can share all the nuances and cultures. And sometimes you may not have that other culture that may want to um, go in deep in your culture. So I would love to have someone of another culture, but it's also going to be a, I won't say a fight, but it's going to be an issue when you try and get two cultures together to learn each other's culture. Um, HIV status don't mean uh, much to me anymore with, with all the type of different medication to help people get better. Um, so it doesn't, the status of someone not knowing, me not knowing, I mean, people are private, so they want to discuss that. But with different medications now, it don't matter to me. So much education out there, so yeah. it should be open to whatever. And I think right. everybody's in, in everybody's in, everybody's in need of love, right. no matter what their status is. Right. And if race used to be an issue, I guess because where I grew up, but now it's not. The biggest threat from the LGBTQ community, um, it could be family, yes, but I really do feel the um, gay bashing. Um, you walk out in public being your true organic self, and then someone is not in alliance with that and it's really bad that your your thoughts of someone else differs from others and you have to retaliate on them i think that's our biggest threat um for the lbgq community of color um is two is twofold actually gay bashing gay bashing in our within our own community our own black community where they're not accepting of of anyone that's gay transgender bisexual or plus is a threat um, also, just being out and just being your own or your own true self and just being in spaces where you're not wanted. So those are our biggest threats. What success means to me, and some people may say professional, a professionalism or a type of wealth. I think success is where you're comfortable within yourself, comfortable where you can do whatever you want, how you want, whenever you want, without any type of um delays. I think that's success. My favorite food, um, being a bigger guy, I, I'm Caribbean and I'm also from the South. So I do love a good Bahamian meal when it's cooked really good. I do like my Southern cooking. Mac and cheese is my favorite. A good fried pork chop is good too. And then I love a Thai food dinner. Leave your life to the fullest. Um, don't take no for an answer. Just strive to be you, how you want to be, when you want to be, and just don't take no for an answer. Just live your best life organically.